Remy Tim, thank you for a ten dollars super chat. Uh, been on analog since day one. Today, my DJI V2 goggles arrive in the mail and I begin the transition. What are the two to three most important things I should know as a newcomer to digital after five years of FPV? Good, that's a good question, Remy Tim. Remy Tim, the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is look up an FPV channel chart. Look up an FPV channel chart. Here's a good one. It's on Get FPV. And pay attention to the layout of the DJI channels. In fact, you could print this out and keep it with you if you like. Uh, notice that the DJI channels go one, two, three, four, five, just like the race band channels that most people use, one, two, three, four, five. But then DJI goes eight, six, seven, and race band goes six, seven, eight. One of the most important things you can do to be courteous to other people when you're flying as a DJI pilot is don't be on their channel. Now, if you're flying with analog pilots, a common thing for them to do is when they're flying with a DJI pilot, they avoid race band six because your goggles will always power up on channel eight and then go to whatever channel you're actually on. So the analog pilots will typically just politely avoid race band six and then you can go to, you know, whatever. Uh, the easiest thing to do is for you to be on channel seven and then they cluster down at the bottom end on one, three, and five. And then there's minimal interference between you guys. The next thing you can do uh, is you can turn your output power down. Uh, if DJI is blasting 1200 milliwatts, it can cause interference even if you're, you're managing your channels correctly. Uh, if you're flying with, you know, two or three other people who know you really well and you guys have a good established rapport, then you could maybe be like, okay, guys, I'm going to go up to 1200. Tell me if you have any problems and you could work it out. Um, but if you're flying with a larger group and you want to be maximally polite, turn your goggles down to 500 or 200 milliwatts. You'll get reduced range, but that's just the thing. That's just kind of what you got to do. And turn yourself down to 25 milliwatts. Don't be on 50 milliwatts when you are flying with other people because the 50 milliwatt channels are twice as large and will will hit the hit the other guys more aggressively. So, those are those are some things you can do to try to, you know, get along better with other people. I bet that you were asking more about like, you know, how to get the most out of your system. But I think that as a DJI pilot being courteous to analog pilots and just knowing, because here's the thing, the analog pilots probably don't know how to deal with you. Uh, but you as the newcomer, if, if DJI can be said to be a newcomer these days, it certainly came second, uh, maybe have a little bit more of an obligation to uh, learn how to peacefully interact. The other thing to, to keep in mind is that as a DJI pilot, your goggles transmit so if you stand next to an analog pilot, you will interfere with him, even though your quadcopter may be far, far away. You need to stand a minimum of 10 feet and a little bit more is better, but minimum of 10 feet anytime your goggles are powered up. And that's another thing to, to keep in mind. Um, do the 1200 milliwatt hack. It's brilliant. You want it. It's no downside. Then enjoy.